Welcome to my channel! Okay, well, that was really annoying and I'm sorry you had to witness that. But maybe only just like a little bit sorry because I'm not going to edit that out of there. Okay, so in today's video I am finally, finally, finally <laughs> going to be talking about the Amethyst February Gemstone Palette from BH Cosmetics. I know, I know, now that February is like pretty much over. I wanted to make this video like a week ago, but somebody, okay, my dog, we call him Concrete Blackhead and there's a reason for that because that thing literally is rock solid like a concrete block. Anyways, long story short, he bolted up, he hit my lip, it gave me a completely fat lip, it still hurts a little bit, bruised, I don't know, it could still be a little bit swollen, but anyways, Ugh. So I just didn't feel like, you know, making a video with a big swollen lip. So <laughs> here we are now, a few days later, making this video. So <laughs> let's just get right into it. I am trying to make this a series on my channel. I already did the Garnet video, which I will link above where it is. I don't know. I never I can't remember which side it's on. So. <laughs> Go check out the card above if you'd like to watch my garnet video. But for now, we are going to be talking about lovely amethyst. And I'm so excited because this is a purple palette. And I mean, can you tell I love the color purple? It's my favorite color. So I was so excited that they have this palette, even though I am a garnet baby. But anyways, this dollar does... Anyways, <laughs> anyways, this palette does retail for $9, which if it's anything like the Garnet palette, I think it is a very fair price, like way more than fair. The Garnet palette was so good and $9, I mean like, hello, you can't get any palettes for less than $10 these days, I swear. I mean, well, that's not entirely true, but yeah. <laughs> so it does come with six shades and just like the garnet you have four matte shades which these two and these two and then you have these two sort of shimmery metallic satin shades and then you have one pressed glitter shade and oh my god i don't know if you can see the pressed glitter shade but it looks like mostly kind of like rose gold goldy but it actually has a flex of purple glitter in it that is so pretty now, I know, I know, people aren't a fan of the pressed glitters, and to be honest, I don't really like the BH Cosmetics pressed glitter. I feel like they're a little bit too intense. It's like, you have to have, like, exact precision when putting them down, because once they're down, they're not going anywhere. So, yes, let's play around with this palette. I am so excited. I feel like a gemstone. That was totally unnecessary, <laughs> all right? If you haven't clicked out of this video by now, <laughs> bless your soul, I am going to, I don't even know what's going on. It's just been a week, all right? I'm just like, oh God, it's been so stressful and now I'm just going crazy. All right, um, so yeah, let's pull you in. <laughs> Ugh, this scarf is like super itchy, but beauty is pain, right? Except I'm not even sure I like this look all that much, so. Is it even worth it? Who the heck knows? Okay, so I think I'm going to go into the crease with Humble. You get this really long shade, just like in the Garnet palette, and it's called Amethyst, and then you get like the little traits of an amethyst, which I think is really cute. So you have Humble, Rebel, Lil Sexy, Daredevil, Clever AF, Superstitious. So if you're Gemstone, is amethyst and you were born in the month of february do you agree with these traits some of mine i didn't really agree with but anyways okay so i'm gonna go in with humble and i'm just gonna work that into the crease minus the dog hair okay and i'm gonna use the little mirror that they gave me because it took me like almost a whole video last time before I was like oh wait a minute there's a mirror here I've just been using my own one the whole time okay so that is a really soft color 
okay, that's nice. It's like a little salmon pink color. I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with this color story. I was hoping for a little bit more purples. Okay, the colors they give you are very wearable. I'll give you that. You got some good transition shades. I mean, very few people probably want a full purple palette, let's be honest. But I mean, okay, I guess, I guess it's not terrible. I don't know what I was expecting, <laughs> but I don't know. I guess it wasn't this. So now I'm gonna go in with Superstitious and I'm just gonna deepen up the crease just a little bit more. Placing that just a little bit for not bringing that color quite as high if I can help it. Okay. Okay, so it's not the most super pigmented purple, I gotta say, but so far these two palettes just blend really nicely and the colors just blend very seamlessly together. I'm I'm kind of enjoying that, gotta say. I don't know how this happens, but literally every single time, every single time I do my eyeshadow this eye always comes out darker than this one like you see what i mean is it because i still have leftover shadow on the brush when i go for the second one it's like every single time man like ugh, give it a rest okay so now i'm just gonna take amethyst and i am going to put that on the outer corner um not bad not super super pigmented like definitely not as dark as it is in the pan kind of ooh yeah ooh, yeah it's definitely got some fallout and patchiness to the shade I don't know if you can see that usually I'm like oh it looks so patchy and then I watch it when I edit the video and I'm like it does not, and I'm like, everyone's gonna think I'm a liar, but I swear in person, it's patchy. But it is, it's a pretty color though. Like, it is buildable, I will say that. See, it does blend really nicely, so honestly, I mean, it's definitely not the worst purple I've ever seen, that is for sure. So yeah, not too bad, actually. I mean, not too bad, like once you blend it out, like, it looks pretty okay. So now I'm going to take Rebel, which is kind of sort of this periwinkle shade. And I'm going to put that on the lid. We're going to start out, whoa, that's kind of chunky. We're going to start out doing it dry. And if we need to go wet, we will. Okay. So it's definitely more of a sheer color. It's very sheer but really pretty, not gonna lie. Okay, actually you can build this up. What the heck is that on my lid? What is that? Get out of here. Jesus, how rude. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, you can definitely, definitely, definitely build off this purple shimmer to not be so opaque. Oh, I love that purple. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Okay. Oh my gosh, I ugh. feel like I hold the brush so awkwardly in my right hand because I'm not right-handed. Fun fact. So... We're just gonna like skip over this part. You don't need to see that. It's bad enough I subjected you to my little song at the beginning. You don't need to see me like. Anyways. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I usually like to take some sort of like silver or gold shimmery shade and use it as a brow bone highlight. But 
we don't really have anything like that in here. I mean, I suppose I could use this purple, but I already used it on the lid and it's just, eh, I don't want it to be overkill. So I have to deduct a couple points from this palette for not having a wearable highlight shade. But honestly, it looks like this brow's already kind of like got a little highlight going on already. So we're just going to skip that step and I'm just going to move right into just kind of like putting a little something in the waterline. Uh, I did not use Clever AF. I don't think I'm going to use that, but if you want to see it, that's what it looks like there. I will have all the swatches at the end of the video. It's my little sneaky trick to get you to stay to the end. All right, now I'm going to take Little Sexy, which is it's kind of like, not quite cranberry color, but whatever. Y you see the color I'm using. Alright, there you have it. There's the almost finished look because I do this every single time and every single time I regret it because it ruins <laughs> the eyeshadow look. But I really want to show you like as many shades in this palette as I can so I am going to go in with this pressed glitter. So yeah, let's ruin the look right about now. <laughs> So, but if you don't plan on using the pressed glitter, then this is a finished look. Gotta do that thumbnail before I ruin my look. Not gonna use my finger this time because we learned that that is a mistake. All right, dog hair everywhere. Okay, so I do have to say, if you are interested in this pressed glitter, then can you see that? If you are interested in using this pressed glitter, it does pair really nicely with this palette. Oh my gosh, it's like, sort of like a pinky glitter with purple specks thrown in throughout. Ooh. Which just looks, which just looks, where? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Mm, I can't talk today. Which just looks really stunning with this purple and that purple shade. Like, oh, it looks so stunning over it. I wish you could see. Can you see? Can you see? Even though I have hooded eyes, can you see? <laughs> All right, so that is gonna wrap up the look and whatever craziness was going on while I was talking to you. And, uh, that needed to happen. Okay, now I just look hideous. All right, so just like the Garnet palette, this palette is really good. You definitely, definitely get your money's worth for $9. The only shade that really gave me trouble was Amethyst. It had some fallout, it was patchy a little bit. It was on the patchy side, but you were able to build up that vibrancy but you actually were kind of able to build up that color and kind of get rid of some of the patchiness. So if you're willing to put in a little bit of extra effort, I think the payoff for this color will be worth it. So honestly, the worst shade in this palette wasn't even that bad. So if you like purple, I think this might be a nice little way to dip your toes in because it's not like, whoa, like this is all purple. There's nothing else we can do here. And honestly, you still end up with a pretty purple look at the end. So there you have it. There's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I will be doing this series. I'm so excited because the Aquamarine palette is coming out in just a few days. I cannot wait to see what that looks like. So I will link the playlist in the cards above. So go check out my garden video and be sure to stick around to see my aquamarine video when it comes out in March. All right, thank you so much for watching and bye.